questions or comments or something and we will maybe answer to them. Maybe. Maybe. So you promised to start from the pre yes. pre-selected questions. We got some of you sent already some questions for us. So. Anastasia Romanova asked a question which we cannot answer. Too hard question, but I will ask it anyway. <laughs> what is the major inspiration for the ninth album? That's Nature. Children. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult. Is there any other uh, inspiration than try to make music that we get excited about by ourselves? I Isn't think, I think we are inspired by ourselves yes. pretty strongly in w with this album. Because uh, when we gather to start to think about the concept and everything for this, we, we wanted to concentrate on ourselves as instrumentalist musicians, as, as a cellist. And, uh, and a drummer. And a drummer, of <laughs> course. but. Uh, Kind of, we are now strongly making like an instrumental heavy metal album for you guys. We try to bring, uh, make the cello metal great again. <laughs> 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly like that, yes. But I don't know if there any particular inspiration. Of course, it's, uh, uh, our music is always inspir inspired by uh, things we have around us in, in life and in the world. So it's a colorful album. Yes complex. And Hiromi Usenius asks at the moment that uh, uh, he tells Hey Hiromi! He says that he can't wait our new album, Such a Liar, but he's wondering who's the producer of the new album. It's us. We, no, are, we are the producer. We, we are producing album ourselves. Jonas, who is, who is asking about, he's a recording engineer and very, very important part of the whole thing. Uh, but we are producing ourselves this time. Where's the paperista? Jaha! Jaha. Samantha is asking the same difficult question we we cannot answer. Uh, hey, Beck Stark wants to uh, know, Paavo, which vocalist will we see on the new album? There is no vocalists. So the album is going to be fully instrumental. That doesn't mean that we wouldn't do in the future some collaborations with different singers, but for the album we wanted to keep this time it um, as a purely instrumental. But we can almost promise you that by the end of this year you will hear also some vocal tracks to yes. come out. But two different uh, concepts at the moment. Uh, many people are asking what is the theme of the ninth album. Maybe we need to figure out one before we uh, stop. Hey, uh, Samantha, <laughs> Miko Lachichi, wants to know, Perttu, when will you release your CD with own cello compositions? Yes. Uh, Paavo, <laughs> uh, when will you uh, release a CD of Perttu's cello compositions? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are already printing they that are out. Printing. Yeah. yeah. Perto has Soon. been writing so yeah. much music that there will be some music, I'm pretty sure. Totally. Don't tell Perto. Paavo, yeah. <laughs> Els Pandel asks you, does your baby already have a name? I guess you are... <laughs> 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 you are talking about the album name. <laughs> I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, the uh, album doesn't have the name. Yeah, we, yet. Ha, we have been talking about the ninth album. Yeah, yeah, that's it, a very surprising because it's kind of the ninth album. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no name. Yeah. It could no. be also a tenth album because if we count uh, Wagner Reloaded as an album. It can be even eleventh if yes. we don't just count. It can be <laughs> yes. hey, give if us we count by ourselves, nine, it can nine, be whatever. Ten, eleven. Hey, give us uh, suggestions for the album name. Yes. Let's put a competition up, you will win nothing, but <laughs> it's an amazing competition. The, the best... Um, competition best ever. Co <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's make competition great again. The, in the end of this conversation, we will release the name of the album. No, no not, not no. on this con conversation. This no. is not no, no, a conversation. No. No. Uh, no. Out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One guy less. Uh, in which country, everybody, in which country do you like to play the most? At the moment, Finland. Finland. I always yeah. love wherever I am. So. Hmm? It's impossible to compare countries, you know, because every place and every territory has 
own qualities and uh, therefore it's impossible to compare audiences. Every show is a unique in its own way. Perfect. Um, uh, uh, Tiffany also uh, wants to know when Pertu is going to release Walls of Death. What the hell is Walls of I Death? I was going to ask the same thing. Oh, it's the little part from um, yeah, Little from Death Goes Part. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I, th I thought we released it. I we released it <laughs> already. <laughs> but yeah, uh, whenever <coughs> there is time and space for other kind of stuff, then we most likely do other things and release it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, next one I need to ask, this is great. Uh, uh, Rana Rice Baudreau is asking, a uh, question for everybody, Eikka, you need to choose. Yeah. Wine or beer? Beer. Paavo, ice or ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ice. Uh, Pertu, how Stark or how Stargar? Anybody who sits on the throne in the end. I Millwall. Pick, I pick the winner. Okay, you pick and the Mick winner. Mick Millwall or Manchester? <sighs> Manchester. <laughs> yes, that was good. Hey, there's a good question. Yes. Sean Wade. What is the relationship with Genelec? <laughs> Uh, I it's very interesting. surely hope purely platonic, but uh, we do enjoy listening our music from the world's finest speakers. Genelec is a Finnish uh, company, uh, family-owned company, which has been existing a long time and has been uh, kind of one of the leading brands in studio, uh, like audio monitors, the speakers you listen to, and uh, we are really, really happy to present always <coughs> something that is uh, great coming from our small country. Uh, the things which are kind of like in a top level, whether it's Genelec, whether it's bands, whether it's some other technical achievements, whether it's our amazing social healthcare system. So those things we are proud of in of Finland, we are and, happy and, to and be And we, we've been working uh, with Genelec speakers over, for over 20 years, yeah. uh, because it's been a standard for studio monitors. and. Uh, and that's why we've been very familiar with the products and always using them now when they came up with these amazing uh, Genelec Ones. Is it called Ones? That's the yes. Syria, yeah. Um, we were happy to join with them, join up with them, um, that we were able to kind of um, um, make our workspaces, different workspaces to sound same, because uh, you, you are able to calibrate how the speakers work and th therefore it didn't matter which kind of room we are working in different places when we are preparing the album and listening to demos so we were able to to uh, to adjust the sound to be the same no matter where we are listening to to the songs so that's a very big reason for that and especially yeah. when the the mix are done in overseas and they will send all the files here and then we can hear basically the same uh, yeah, and we have uh, we have the monitors uh, to listen to the mixes that we can really trust hundred percent that what we hear that's uh, how it sounds like. I don't know. Can you see those speakers in the picture? Guy behind the camera. Yes, you can. So it look they look like this. They come in different sizes, but that's the basic thing. Uh, I don't know. It has got some fancy name with that uh, one thing in the center, and then the subs coming from the sides. Coaxali. Coaxali, kaiutin system. You know. <laughs> You know Coaxali. You know Coaxali Kaiutin system, it's a Yhdyssana. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> but there's some amazing, it's a technically uh, very uh, developed system, but it sounds amazing. You should uh, try it out, whether you are uh, working uh, in music as professional, or whether you are just like, uh, you like good quality sound. They are very good. Yes. Uh, uh, Dorote. Dorothea wants to know, you two guys, you wrote an opera some three years ago, ish. Yeah. And uh, Dorothea would like to know, are you planning to do another one? I would love to do another one at some point, but now this year I made an oratorio, which is pretty much the same thing. It's going to be performed in summer with the opera singers and orchestra and everything. So always keen to try new kind of things, new challenges. 
So no opera yet, but the oratorio. Yeah. You need to come to Finland to see it. Well, what is the festival where it's played? Uh, Ilmajoki Music Festival, and I think it's in the mid of June. 14th, if I'm not all wrong. 14th yeah. of June. Come to check it out. I've heard it. It's pretty amazing. Stacy uh, wants to know how did the drum kit come about. Uh, so there we have a drum kit which is very unique at the moment on our tour and uh, it's um, uh, I've, I made it myself with my friend and uh, the idea was just to create something special for our special anniversary tour. We did uh, last two years we've been touring with the uh, place Metallica by Four Cellos concept so we played only instrumental music and I wanted to, wanted to create a drum kit which and beside beside making that exciting we we told uh, because uh, many of those venues we played they are uh, acoustically really good classical venues and this monkey is making such a bad noise <laughs> so it's uh, uncontrollable in <laughs> in certain venues so that was also one beside that it needs to sound exciting and cool that it can't be too noisy so yeah. he got the challenge boys love to sell flowers on their spare time yes yes, yes. i love Garden. It's hard to find men in these days, you know, estrogen and testosterone, they are, you know, yeah. these things. <laughs> but anyway, it's a great drum kit, so uh, check it out. He should get an award of design yes, for, for exactly. the drum kit, because it's Mikko's personal design, the whole kit. I heard that MoMA has, at the, has got at the moment uh, Eddie Van Halen's guitar gear, so I want to have my drum set <laughs> set up in Keravat Aiden Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Love <laughs> 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 Baba, I, I just came into the room and the guys were like, okay, you have to take the shoes off. So Baba is the only one using shoes. <laughs> yeah. That's how we do albums, you know. It's very metal to be on your socks. Black socks. Yes. Uh, metal socks. Uh, Nural is asking, uh, when is the album coming out? It looks like it will be... Out uh, some time. Uh, after some time, I would... Within... Within a year. Well, definitely within a year. Maybe by the end of the year or early next year. It's like um, <coughs> the album release is uh, pretty much depending because you have the question also about uh, another tour. Uh, we are setting up the tours uh, to different all the territories. Uh, we are used to tour and album release needs to be in some kind of connection of the start of the new cycle of touring with the new products and a new new set list and stuff. So they are going hand in hand. And I think um, uh, in these times of this modern world, the touring options, they are dictating a bit when the album will be out. But you know, if the album is not going to be out very quick, there will be something out anyway. <laughs> En línea, chicos, cuando estén en línea. Sí. Con pollo, por favor. Con pollo, por favor. Jalapenes. We've been in a studio now for six weeks in a row, 12 hours, minimum As you can day. see, probably. So it starts to go a bit mental in here. Yeah. Um, um, when you, when hey. will you tour USA with your music, <laughs> not just Metallica? Um, <laughs> we are just coming to US to play Metallica. We are very sorry. We'll be there for uh, in May to do another place Metallica tour. Uh, but uh, when... It's a the farewell, album. farewell tour. Of course, it's for farewell tour. Yeah, place for Metallica yeah, tour. Yeah. Yes. For this spring. Yeah, before the Australian and Asian yeah. tour. Yes. Or farewell tour. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so it's a last tour before the next one. We hope to be back pretty soon with the new album. But as I explained, it's everything goes kind of like hand in a hand. And we want to, it to be a nice package for everybody. So let's wait for a while. We are really eager to that you would hear the new music. We are really excited about it. So... Okay, what do we have there? How do you deal with the time zones? And does coffee <laughs> help to accumulate your energy or just from where you take it? Mm -hmm. Time zones, we are um, dealing with time zones very differently. I think everybody of us yeah. has a very different routine. 
Mikko needs at least how many cups of yeah. first cup is yeah. the most important. Yeah. Uh, we've been so used to travel in different time zones, so it's just part of the life. So sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's harder. You yeah. never know upfront. Yeah, but coffee is great always. Yeah, at yeah. least ten cups of yeah. a day. Yeah, for those who don't know. Finnish people eat most coffee or drink. In the we eat, <laughs> we <laughs> literally <laughs> eat. It's very thick. <laughs> we eat. <laughs> and we also drink <laughs> coffee more than anyone else per capita. Yeah. So. Uh, as a test, uh, what, what about to include harpas, violins, and other instruments as a test? I think yes. We have some. Mm, not, <coughs> not much game. now, but we have had so many instruments during all these years and in our music because um, uh, when we when we produce and uh, arrange music we always want to use the sounds and instruments that we fit we feel that it uh, makes uh, justice to the original song and we can get the best results so we have no dogma about uh, not having alternative instruments on the record so but now it looks pretty strongly that that uh, it's gonna be a real band album, band record. We have some flavors there, but it's uh, th those are in the minor role. Yeah. Um, Danet is asking a question about our personal favorite Apocalyptica song to play live. Can anybody go so far at the moment? I cannot get that. It's of hard. Yeah, it's hard to think of what, what do we play normally. Do we have any songs? <laughs> We have these nine songs we are working now, no yeah. other songs. It's difficult. Of course, uh, uh, my favorite is always to play the song which is not ours. <laughs> well, we, we just adopted it from Sepultura, Inquisition Symphony. Yeah. That's um, extreme that fun every single time when we play it. Yeah. I miss to play, miss playing that song. Me too. On the Metallica set battery yeah. we is uh, replacing that uh, song for me. We used to play that Inquisition Symphony. In every show, for since, since '93. Yes, for 20 years. Except on the Place Metallica tour. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. maybe 1,500 times. <laughs> <laughs> and you still cannot play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kim May is asking, "Have you ever considered doing some disturbed songs?" Mm. Yeah, not really. Not no. really. Because no. we haven't considered playing basically uh, any covers at the moment. From any band, not too much. Yeah, I don't. This job is great, but I think they do it better than we could do it. So <laughs> let's leave it be. And Martin is asking, have you ever played Metallica songs "No Leaf Clover" and "Hero of the Day"? We have played "No Leaf Clover" yeah. once, and and we played that with Metallica on their thirtieth anniversary show in San Francisco. Did feel more? Yes. Oh, you played as well. <laughs> it was so traumatic that he forgot it. You, you know, his I mind blocked for that experience. Yeah, it was so traumatic <laughs> experience. No, it was great fun. It's a great song, but we never made a cover out of it. So we didn't make a cover out of it. <laughs> James, James Wolf has got the question for me and Paul. For who has the best <laughs> hair in the band? <laughs> <laughs> so how, how, how do you define best? And meaning pubic or hair hair? Or <laughs> <laughs> Who is the what? most hairy? Who's the Father most hairy? is the hairiest from his butt, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. So I think uh, Pavo has the best hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will be He's mo shaving. most hairy. Adriana Söderschär is asking another question. Uh, asking of Söderschär is a nice place, by the way. Söderschär. Yeah, it's a lighthouse in the front yeah. of Helsinki in, yeah. in the ocean. There's moom in troll kind yeah. of a lighthouse there. Yes, it's, it's very nice. Uh, he, but she's not so interested about moving trolls, but <laughs> more uh, have we been thinking to make music for recent films or series. I think we have, but nobody wants to have our music. <laughs> <laughs> there has been music in uh, yeah. fil films and TV series yeah. and documentaries. And, and uh, uh, there's coming on premiere uh, in cinemas in the summer is going to be out the movie called Aquarella where I wrote music and also used some of our uh, existing songs <coughs> for the soundtrack. And there might be, in the future, coming up alternative projects as well. 
but nothing to talk about yet, nothing confirmed. That's the world where you don't get things confirmed very easily. <laughs> non Okay. Too many contracts to shut our yeah. mouths. Dorotea. Uh, Disclosure. Dorotea Filipan is uh, loving Eikas composition Symphony Extreme, what Eikas wrote to us some one and a half years ago, maybe two years ago. And Dorotea is dying to know how did the idea come about. And it, yeah, it definitely wasn't my idea. <laughs> I have weird ideas, but not that weird. I, I think it came by <coughs> this Visit Finland. It's, um, it's an association or whatever it's called, like uh, promoting Finland as a tourist destination. And uh, they had heard about one uh, professor who made music out of uh, DNA. He created some algorithm mathematics um, to kind of put the DNA code into that. And that made weird sounds. So they thought that it's a great idea to write a music of Finnish DNA because Finnish DNA is the most diverse in the world inside one country. So that's uh, why it was a, as an idea. It was exciting. So that came from there. And in, I spent quite a while, you know, figuring out what to do with those endless chains of letters and numbers and because they didn't make any sense. But then I found a formula and it was used in the in the piece. But at the same time, uh, the target was to make also the song that sounds Finnish and all Finnish people, when they hear the music, they can kind of relate that, okay, this is somehow uh, like, like Finnish mentality sounds like. You can find it from YouTube, at least. I yeah, don't know, is it and Spotify, and Spotify, I think. Yeah. There's a cool video of that. Too. Yeah, it's beautiful. A little bit Finnish landscape yeah. and stuff. Japanissa asuva päivi. That means like päivi who is living in Japan what? is asking, how many cellos do you have? Mikko? <laughs> I think I own one fourth of a cello. <laughs> Doesn't man own one cello? I don't know. I think. I think we own some. Yeah, one fourth of a cello. It's hard to count. I have one, one cello under my stairs at home, but it's, it has a hole in the back. So it's not in use. I don't know, does it count? Do, do you count the cellos that you can't play? <laughs> you can't play any cello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I can still own. Yeah. I have a couple of those broken cellos from the past in my trophy room. Like in the ceiling. It's, it's pretty cool to watch but watch the history. Yeah, but basically we have like <laughs> a good, good old ones at home and which we use for recording the albums and practicing and then we are using different cellos when we are touring. And basically we are... We have uh, only around yeah, about yeah, two uh, to yeah. three cellos yes. each. Yeah. Maybe three, four. Yeah, it's a bit different like compared to guitars, for instance, that uh, the price range is quite... I think I have one behind my sauna building <laughs> in the forest. <laughs> I just went through our storage a couple of days ago. There was at least four broken cellos. Okay. Who broke them? You, you uh, broke them. Most likely Perto has done it. And, but there is also a couple of fixed ones. <laughs> wow. Sarah is saying she loves to dance to our song Riot Lights. And she's wondering, did we experiment any with any particular different sounds this time? I think we have uh, experimented a lot with different sounds. And I think it's maybe rough to say yet, but I feel that maybe this is the most versatile album we have had, maybe. But there's from really classical cello sounds to very traditional apocalyptica songs to very rough end of uh, metal music to kind of contemporary urban sounds to whatever. So we're still in the middle of making <coughs> it, but I feel that we are experimenting a lot at the moment. What are you most excited for fans to hear on the new album? That's a question from Kira. Um, we have no idea how the album is going to be like yet, <laughs> because we are in the middle of it. Of course, we have an idea, but um, w w it's still impossible to say 
how every song is going to turn out in the final end. So I think we are excited to, to for the fans to hear it all because it's uh, it has so many different styles and a lot of long songs, very epic, a lot of progressive stuff. So I think people people who like uh, old school instrumental apocalyptica will be quite this pleased with the record. Definitely something for them who have been missing the cello as an instrument in many of our and I, we can say that you can you can listen to it from Spotify when it's released because we are not expecting to sell any albums. <laughs> so <laughs> this is just for you guys. Oh, do we have any questions? Uh, en línea, chicos, cuando estén en línea. Con pollo, por favor. Yeah. Mm, okay, this is <coughs> difficult question, long question. I don't know. I, uh, Eva is asking, I'm curious if there was a time times you really felt like you can't make it as a band anymore. I mean, when you decided to compose your own music, it had to be challenging. Uh, have you ever thought of leaving the band because you felt like all the motivation and inspiration to write new music that would fit to Apo is gone? Always can't wait for the album. Yes, I think everyone <laughs> might have had periods of time really wanting to leave the band. <laughs> How many times today, Bertu? Not a single not today. time, no, not for long. Just two years ago when I had my last periods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there, there has been times, uh, of course, and uh, sometimes they've been harder times, and sometimes uh, easier times. But um, yeah, of the ca for the career of uh, twenty, oh, how many years? Whatever, over twenty <laughs> years, way over twenty years. Uh, a lot of things can happen in life, and and in whatever. So, and sometimes we have made uh, mistakes and uh, wrong planning and stuff like that and then things have are just um, escalating into something that we are not happy about and but we've been here we are sitting in the sofa that's the only thing that matters still got to go uh, uh. yeah Dorothy is asking about the Wagner's show that uh, I have said that I would like to revive it and take it on tour someday. What do Pablo, Mikko and Perto say? So what do you say, guys? Yes, Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Up to anything. Would be really great. We would go on tour with that, but we can't fit the fucking dragon anywhere. It doesn't fit in the truck, so we can't go on tour with that. Now the thing is that we, we of course, we, we we're hoping, we wish that um, we could tour with the Wagner Reloaded because we really love the product and, and the production and the whole show. But unfortunately, it was built in a way that it's not very easily transportable. Is that the right way to say? Transportable. Yeah. So at the moment, there are no Wagner shows in the calendar, unfortunately, because it's a nice production. El Spander is giving us the last question. It's a good last question. How long do you still have to spend <laughs> in the studio? Ha. Huh. It depends. How quickly can we go back to record? <laughs> I would yeah. say we are going to be in studio roughly two weeks more. Roughly. Are you? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I will be one more week. <laughs> but of course, I think we are w our aim is to get everything recorded before the Easter. So in one week. And then, of course, there's a lot of work to to choose and uh, to fine tune and things, you know, to find things in the right order before we get it into the mix, which is going to happen in May. So we've been here for this is the sixth week, so it's been a fairly short. If we spend only seven weeks on recording, it's not very short, but it's shorter than some other products. <laughs> Done. It's shorter than any <coughs> other album we've done. Yeah. So the result is going to be greater. Yes. Yeah, we'll be more effective. Greatest. Yeah. But it's been nice to work um, producing by ourselves because uh, it's been very flexible. We have had uh, no need to explain anybody outside of the band what we're aiming for. 
and what's the vision before behind the songs. So I think that has made things faster. And also that we are not having vocal tracks and vocal guests. It's uh, we don't have so many moving parts doing this album. So it's been surprisingly relaxed. It's not. It's never easy. Making album is never easy. But uh, it's been somehow the mood has been staying very positive and good. So we can't wait to get it finished, and even more, we can't wait to play it for you, all people. Thank you for joining us for this nice chat. Uh, we uh, go ahead and check uh, Genelex out. We will, as soon as we get back to the studio room, we need to focus on recording and. Uh, Hope to see you on the tour. Yeah, the day is young. It's the day is, yeah, it's only been 10 hours so far, so we will yeah. continue. Uh, we will be on tour in May, touring US with Place Metallica Plus show. Plus Mexico. And Mexico, yeah. Viva la Mexico. Mexico City, we play a big festival over there. We do some festivals, a few ones this summer in Europe. And then for the uh, fall, we are definitely going at least to Australia. We are planning some other shows around it which will be confirmed hopefully very soon and then we can announce it to you. And they will be in Asia, in different countries in yes. Asia. So. Yes. So looking forward to see you wherever we go. Stay tuned and we will keep you updated when we get something new to release. Yes. Yippee. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a nice morning or evening or whatever is going on there. Hey. 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 hey.